Yeah, but you guys have been flogging it like mad. No, oh, yeah, no, I understand, Sean. We all know about uh, upper-level management directives, don't we? Listen to, uh, listen to me. If you get anything new, if you hear about anything, would you give me a call? Yeah. Thanks a lot, buddy. Bye. I'm sorry about that. Is, uh, is this a bad time? No, no, no. It's an excellent time. I uh, hadn't got around to lunch. Let's go uh, make a raid in the cafeteria. I'm not hungry. Why? What's wrong? Mel, if I keep feeling this way, I don't want to live anymore. The thing is, Blair was right. What? That you're a terrible person? Come on, Kelly. Well, then why do I feel so bad, Mel? Because you love Blair, and because Blair is hurting right now, and she's not prepared for you to help her. Well, how can I help her? Every time she sees me, it reminds her of everything that she has lost. Well, maybe she needs a, a little more time to hurt a little less. Will it ever? Hurt a little less? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Although, it must be insupportable to lose a child. I mean, there you are, you look around, the world you knew is gone. You're in a desolate place. With no map. You have to find a way out any way you can. You, you can uh, slash away at people. You can cut them off. You can be cruel to those you love. Anything you need to do to survive. And that's where I think Blair is at right now. And all you can do is wait. Until she comes back home to her heart. I think I've been selfish. Why? What do you mean? I mean, do I really care about Blair? Or do I just want her to say I forgive you so I stop hurting? I think all of us feel a little like that when we've injured someone we love and then we desperately try to hide the terrible knowledge that we've been selfish. But you don't. Because you're brave and you're honest. And I can't tell you how much I admire you. Thank you. I don't believe you, but thank you. You know, without you, I couldn't have gotten through this. I was glad to have been of help. You know something? I, um... I never knew my father. He, uh, ran out on my mother before I was born. But I used to daydream all the time about him. You know, what he would be like. And now I know I'd be very lucky if he was anything like you. I hope your children appreciate you, Mel. So, what about it? You don't want to grab that lunch with me? Oh, I see. I'm embarrassing you. <laughs> well, no. I'll get out of here, but I want to thank you. Anything. What if Cassie had been in that car that Kelly drove off the road? What if Cassie had died? Would you want Kelly to live in your home? That's a terrible question. You can't answer it. No, I can't. I can't imagine what it would be like losing Cassie. Right. And you can't. Imagine what I feel. No, honey, I suppose I can't. <sighs> Doreen, I don't want to punish you, and I really don't think it will bother Kelly, though, if I move out. Oh, but it would. No, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. But it would hurt you, right? I love you as if you were my daughter. What more can I say? All right. I'll stay if that's what you want. But I'm going to tell you this right up front. That Kelly is not to bother me. She is to leave me alone. Is that clear? She can bother you with all of her self-pity. Because I need everything that I have to fight my battle for Star. And I need all my strength to fight my battle with Todd. And I don't have... I don't have the strength now. 
Just have patience. Hello? Oh, gross. Oh. Not the optimum form of greeting in my book. Uh, going to a big interview? Uh, yeah, you could say that. As a matter of fact, I'm taking the day off from work. Oh, um, I should go. <laughs> no, 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 you cannot rush off like that before I've had the chance to become completely insensitive. What you got in the bag? Food! I know you have the tendency not to eat when you work hard. You are something else. I mean, you don't have to come bearing gifts. Uh... Bagels and coffee. If there's something on your mind, you know me better than that. Well, you know me too. Blair uh, is just about recovering from her relapse. Uh-huh. That means she'll be coming back home. As in Dorian's house. As in your home, too. Yes. Blair doesn't even want me on the same planet as her, much less under the same roof. You know, I don't know. Should I go? Should I stay? I really don't know. What's Dorian's take on it? She says that I'm one of her girls and she doesn't want me to go anywhere. I agree. Stay put. <sighs> Look, it's so difficult. She is so angry at me that it takes all the air out of the house, no? You will find over time it'll be a lot easier to breathe. You really think so? Yeah, I do. I mean, give Blair her space for now, but keep your antennae out. Your instincts will tell you when to reopen negotiations. That's scary. Yeah, you bet it is. And it's better to thrash it out when you're both under the same roof. Physical distance only um, magnifies problems. Believe me, take it from somebody who knows. You're awake, that's a positive sign. Not only awake, but I am stunningly dressed. Almost. So you're still coming? Well, we made a date, didn't we? Well, that's no guarantee, Dad. I'll be there. You taking the train up? Yeah, at 5 o'clock. It'll get me into Penn Station about uh, 6.40. It should take me about 15 minutes to your door. Extra 15 to make it safe. Okay. Wait, I hear a problem with that. Well, let's just meet at the restaurant. Um, I made reservations at Porcini. <laughs> Bless you. You cannot find calamari fra diavolo in this neck of the American woods. <laughs> you remember where it is? What? Porcini's? Of course I remember where it is. On Mulberry, up from Grand. And as I remember, Porcini's doesn't have a liquor license. Could that be one of the reasons why you chose it? Partially. But I love their calamari, too. So it's a date. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Can I quote you on that? Hey, kiddo. I am looking forward to this big time. Me too. Bye. Who was that? My daughter. Dorothy? You mean that she, uh, stopped sending the self-help junk mail and actually agreed to see you? We will be eyeball to eyeball over an obscene amount of squid in a few very short hours. Thanks. No, no, man. I have got to have my wits about me if I'm going to get this right. What? What? You're scared to see her, aren't you? 